What are the advantages of improving customer loyalty? Well, first of all, there are lots of advantages in improving customer loyalty. Um, but I would, would like to, to talk about the financial benefits from improving customer loyalty. It, it, it seems that improving customer loyalty is actually one of the most effective way of gaining uh, effective improvement in your top line, which also includes uh, gaining improvement in your costs, which ultimately uh, delivers a better uh, performance in the overall business. So, Improving customer loyalty is very effective uh, if you want to, to improve your, your financial performance. So it's a way to improve financial performance. Do you have any numbers uh, supporting that? Well, we have a lot, lots of numbers because we, we've actually been, been trying to look into what are the dynamics. And it came to us that just improving uh, the, the customer retention rate, which means the number of customers you keep on an annual basis, just by a couple of percent actually can have an, an, an more like 8 to 10% impact on, on the cost structure in the company. So it, this is very effectful. And what is the connection between uh, customer loyalty and, and, and retention rates? Why not just focus on the customer satisfaction? Well, I think it's important that, that, that we acknowledge that uh, just merely by improving customer satisfaction, you do not uh, uh, automatically gain improved customer loyalty. It seems that customer satisfaction is more like the basic factors. It's what you expect. It's the hygiene factors. Of course, they, they need to be there. So, so they need to be in place, but it's, it's not sufficient in order to build customer loyalty. You need to do something on top in order to, to improve your customer loyalty. Why spend all this energy on building uh, customer loyalty? Why not just acquire new customers and make money on them instead? Well, it, it can be quite expensive to acquire new customers. And uh, a lot of companies, they already know, but, but uh, to those who, who doesn't know, it, it, it can cost from, from three to five, maybe even seven years before a new customer actually becomes profitable. Because the cost of acquiring a new customer can be quite immense. For instance, you need to go out and, and do marketing. You need to go out and, 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 and pay provision for your sales personnel. You need to pay for, for onboarding the customers. That's a lot of administration costs. And then you, you, you actually also look into that customers tend to cost more in the beginning of, of their, peer, uh, their life uh, with you as a, as a company. So, Basically, if you are able to just keep your customers a little longer, you do not have to invest that much in, in acquiring new customers and you can save the money.